previously on the NoVP channel. Your wife. And coming up. You just know that he would wear socks in bed. <laughs> I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to the most unappealing crap you'll find anywhere on the whole internet. Start the shit show. And I keep calling, calling, keep calling, calling. <laughs> Yes! I don't know what that was. That was, I was doing Verka. Okay. Lashington by. Let's big dance. This costume really was kind of like a one time thing, wasn't it? It's just falling apart at the seams now. Well, it was cheap to begin with. Yeah. W welcome to this Novimpia treat. <laughs> hey, uh... Starring you girls. Today, Nova has come in Dami Im Realness. Yes. Who came second? Yes. For Australia. Yes. In what, 2017 thereabouts? That sounds about right. I, I actually can't remember the year. I am being Verka today, and I'd just like to say that the Luke did come with glasses, but I've taken them off because of the glare from the lights. Also, I've left them at the party. <laughs> I left them behind. But they were there though, so I'll, you can see in the picture. Oh, but what's this? What's this here? Is this indeed the, the first place trophy I received for best costume of the party? I think it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. You were something of the Italy of the party because everyone thought you would be top three, but she wasn't even top three. Right. That's very rude, actually. <laughs> I won. Um, this has been a very, very highly requested video. I think partly because people were expecting it immediately after Eurovision. And that's just not how we it's roll. Been, it's a week. It's only been a week. It's not. <laughs> yeah, people just drop off we, with Eurovision we put, so quick. We put out a video the Monday after Eurovision. People were like, where is the Eurovision review? Listen, there's, there's been a lot, a lot fucking went down, didn't it? Um, I would just very, very briefly like to, we did, what did we do? We did like a, a, a state of play video. We did a bunch of prediction videos on the Patron. Yes. But I would just like to quickly go through a couple of talking points from the semis real, real quick. And then we'll move on to what happened in the final. All right. I don't know if we actually discussed before this all went down, the fucking sun. There's been a lot of controversies this year. A lot of I'm, people I can't pissed. remember if we discussed it or not, but we did discuss it on Patreon. Yes. Does anybody care? If you're not really aware, the kinetic sun, which was a lovely half sphere opening out moment. One side had screens on it, one side had lights. Right away, fucked up. Oh, for fuck's sake, what? Well, <laughs> the... The black. black semicircle that mm. was behind everyone was not supposed to be like that for everyone. It was supposed to have rings inside it that turn rings. around and on the other side would be like an LED screen that would mirror what was behind it so it kind of like filled in the gap. And it's a lovely idea. I think in theory it was just gorgeous. They used it for the halftime show. Yes. My feeling towards it is, honestly, if you didn't really even know about it, then who really cares that much? A few, I know what you're going to say, a few of them, it was really noticeable. Yes. And I also feel like if you didn't notice it, you probably just thought the stage looked a bit shit this year. Like Italy didn't do a very good job. Because I feel Not like... necessarily. You would never, ever, ever have a stage prop like that if it wasn't meant to be turned around. My basic point is, of all the things that went wrong with the hosting this year, the sun is so low down on my list that I don't really care. I think the official word was, Shocking. it was taking too long to turn around. What took you so long? And because two of the countries rehearsed without it to make it fair, everyone else had to rehearse without it. And it was just not enough time to make it work. So to make it fair for everyone rehearsing under the same circumstances, nobody used it. Make it work. But I think And they were given two days notice. On Twitter, don't people just get into their, into their bubble of just like, I don't know, bitching, moaning, just like gossiping about stuff. Honestly, I don't think it really even mattered that much. There's work- I, I think, think it, it mattered. A lot. There were worse problems, let's be honest. Let's just talk about- I can't really think of many worse problems. You not stopping moaning is worse- I think that was one of the you. worst problems. You not winning the costume you competition. Are. You are. I'm going to make your favourite tea tonight. Rack off lamb. Rack off lamb. What are we, ha what are we having? Um, I actually can't remember. I think like- You're making vegan it. Vegan chicken and chips. You- I, I know that this, it's vegan. This costume was fine on the night and now it's like just slipping down. Yeah, I tripped and broke this headpiece. Oh, so really? It's, it's a lot of things are going wrong. Oh, look at this as well. 
Don't show them that. No, we look great. I won, actually. Semi-final. Any other words? Semi-final. The semis? Couple of things I just want to say about the first semi is that to have the person that left the comment saying that my comments on Albania were ridiculous and that I should listen to Nova. I fucking told you they wouldn't do that good. Didn't even qualify. Albania was a shock to a lot of people. Um, I do think based on that performance that was given for the semi-final, it was not... Um, I feel like maybe it could have gone through, but I'm, I wasn't like mad that it didn't because it wasn't good enough. I feel like for whatever reason, Renela's vocals were not as good as they have been previously. She's given much better vocals I before. I don't know why you must come up with all of these excuses. The what? song is not accessible enough no, I for think people song, to vote I, for. The song is not the problem. Um, her vocals were not as good as they have been. And the staging, although looking at the stand-in rehearsal footage with the Kinetic Sun working, it looked better. It was still a bit plain and a bit boring the staging well, like, also she did go first which is tricky there's a, lot of, first, there's a lot of reasons yes. i felt i did feel bad for her because i think she put in so much fucking there work. was a Not lot of other people didn't but you intimate know. choreography with another lady which might have turned some people off <laughs> the only I, other surprise though then from that one was latvia was latvia so that i'm genuinely surprised by because i feel like that was an accessible song i feel like people like the nonsense Not i nonsense, don't know but... i don't know i feel like moldova ended up really sucking in the the kind of attention and the votes from people who yeah, might have otherwise have voted for latvia I mean, we're just going to say it here. I'm going to speak on behalf of Nova because I know she feels exactly the fucking same way. Maybe we were blissfully ignorant about Moldova. I'm still not into it. I don't like it. I never don't get it. it. Find it just kind of, uh, kind of annoying. I think Latvia <laughs> deserved to qualify, and it was very upsetting that at the actual final we did not get the iconic line instead of meet. I veggies and pussy. Chitty Zenny was such like an iconic integral part of this year's Eurovision, and then I felt like they were just missing from the final. I look so very 80s sad. from the neck down. Yeah. It's almost very like that woman. Do you remember we made those dresses and I was like, girls night out. We're gonna have Prosecco tonight. I mean, I wasn't really that mad that Latvia didn't qualify because I was never really in that. The thing I want to mention from the second semi, very glad that Michael Ben David did not qualify because that guy's fucking obnoxious. So we were speaking on Patreon in our prediction thing. We Stop kind mentioning of Patreon, they know at this point. God, it's we so were of the opinion it, we would not see both Romania and Israel in the final. We thought it would be one of the two and I don't think we we really could say confidently which we would predict, but we were hoping it'd be Romania. No, I think we were on the side of Romania. You go back. And that song is very, it's a lot easier to sing along to. It's not as obnoxious. If you're not yeah. following, that guy was, he was touching up hosts. He was touching people's faces. He was grabbing microphones. He was so obnoxious. And on another level. During his semi-final, the hosts were together speaking to the camera. And he just kind of came up in between them and stood there, like, before the commercial break. Waving if, his flag. As oh. if he was part of the hosts. And it was just... I think they actually were... I think they did get told off for that, didn't they? They did. Uh, Switzerland got through, and I could always see that. So I just want to make that known, because people were pissy. The other thing is, though, Belgium made it through to the second... To the final from the second semi. And that was really, I think, surprising, though, because we just did not get that. Especially no. taking maybe a spot for Ireland, which, okay, was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? But she really ramped up by the end. I think she got so much support by the end. Yeah. What a godsend. <laughs> the one thing that I think is really worth noticing is that we had some small vindication for North Macedonia because they came 11th, which means they were one place away from being in the final. And also for San Marino. And because, oh, we ha did not care for San Marino. Yes, I feel very Lazy vocals. That. Didn't like it. Lazy vocals. And also a lot of people were raving about the staging looking amazing, looking incredible. I have to say, on the night, from us at home watching it on television, the pyro was too much. It was overlit. It was just a white screen for Didn't many seconds. Didn't want to say we were right. You Didn't couldn't want to say. see anything. So actually, oh, yeah. it might have looked amazing in person, but from our perspective at watching it at home, it was too much. It, it was actually bit... was too much. It was like, oh, so that's where the line is. Okay, that's that's good to know. It was a little bit much. <laughs> But yes, North Macedonia was, were, were really close. And whenever in the past we had said, we really like her, we love that song, and we don't get why people aren't going for it, people would just be like, no, no fucking chance, disaster, last place. She was this close yeah. to actually making it. And actually, 
This is a little bit that we should talk about right now because it's it's apropos to this. Probably would have made it in if Azerbaijan yeah. didn't buy fucking votes. Allegedly. 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 Oh, listen. Running scared. Did that really win? There are six um, countries that were not able, they had their jury votes stripped from them in the final God. as a result of questionable, inconsistent voting patterns. From in, the Eurovision villains, it's always in the same the semis. Ones. And so the EBU, I think, has done a really shit job at handling this. They've not been very clear on why they did this. They've not explained why, they've not explained what happened. It's just been each country involved have kind of been speaking and we've been getting drips and drabs on social media about what has happened. I think the EBU need to give everybody a statement as to exactly what happened, why it happened and what they're going to do about it because it's been very vague at the moment. So I think a couple of things worth noting here is that because their votes were, there were irregularities with the votes, which basically means that six countries' jury scores, which they get earlier than the telly scores because they happened the day before, yeah. six countries had all voted for each other. And that obviously is suspicious. Suspicious when they have like an independent party going through to verify if it's suspicious or not. So what they did is they scrapped those and they came up with aggregated, invented points essentially based on how similar countries, in terms of how they voted before, voted. So that basically means that like, if Moldova usually votes in a certain way, like another country that also usually votes in a certain way because it's how people there perceive like what they like the most, they kind of like give a similar invented score, which people were really pissy about. I just feel like Oh, I don't, I don't know what the answer is because this is a very, very complex situation to find a solution so last minute. I would rather have had a solution where these votes were kind of scrapped entirely. Just scrapped entirely. I don't know how that would work. My maths is appalling. I understand that this, they were working closely with, the, the voting's all handled by a third party and they were working with Problem them. Problem is though, that you have to remember this is a live event and it is something that people are sort of putting out there and it's all last minute. Yeah. If they'd scrapped those, those countries would not have had an hour 12 points goes to. They would have just cut them out completely. Well, maybe they could have done their televotes instead. Production side of point of view. But then they, would, they wouldn't have had the points afterwards during the televote. So that is tricky. The other thing worth noting is San Marino actually do this every year because they don't have a population large enough to support a televote. So in terms of their televote, that's invented. And it would be the same if Andorra came back, I imagine, or Monaco, any of these micro states, they would have to do that. So it's a contest where it's not a level playing field anyway. Five countries pay to get into the final. The running order is invented by producers to make it a better show. It's not entirely fair. So certain things you have to take with a pinch of salt. Also, Ukraine obviously won anyway. So people who are really gunning for you know, we deserve these extra two points. All right, maybe it would have fiddled with the order slightly. Overall, it's not gonna change who won. So that's kind of where I feel about, about that. I think it would have changed a lot though, because Azerbaijan would probably not have qualified without all of this. And I feel like it's upsetting to think that I really liked um We quite liked it, but, but it's upsetting to think that they potentially took the place of somebody else who could have been North in the Macedonia, final. it would have been literally her. I think it is worth noting though that a lot of Spanish fans who are in, in not a, a great state of mind who were just throwing like spewing bile out there about the fact that they could have been second, their juries Four out of five of them gave most points to Azerbaijan, which you've also got to think is maybe slightly suspicious. Mm. Maybe a little bit suspicious. Mm. So I just kind of put a pin in that. I think what they need to do is they have done in pre years previous had a, a larger group of jurors where it would be much more difficult to kind of buy people. So there's only five per country. But I think in the past they've had like 20, which would make way more yes. fucking sense. Yes, Five people is sense. daft in the first 12, place. 12, make it 12, a nice dozen. Like, make, it, I think, make it more. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, let's move on to the final then. And, um, spoiler oh. alert, Ukraine won. I just wanted to get out of the way. <laughs> Ari Ukraine, there is obviously a kind of feeling that of course they would win because of current state of affairs with Ukraine and Russia. Obviously they would win. I don't think that's an entirely fair thing to say because to me that implies that they could have sent anything and it would have won. 
I honestly believe that if this if if the war was not what it was at the moment, they probably still would have been top ten. I think it was a good performance. It was a good song. And I think it's a good song. People are unfair it, about the people song. People aren't giving it the credit it deserves. Would it have won under different circumstances? Perhaps not. But I still think it would have done well. Also, let us not forget that Eurovision was invented to unite Europe after World War II. So if the very purpose of this competition is to inspire international cooperation and friendship because of war, then is it not surely yes. fucking perfect that they've won? And yes, I know then exactly. people will say, but that means it's political. It's supposed to be an apolitical it, contest. No, yeah, but it is political. Make it apolitical to a point, but my God, like honestly, who cares? Like how great, let's By give it to Ukraine. By its very nature, it is a political it contest. Is. So, so yeah, I, I mean- I guess you kind of just have to get over it. So in certain <laughs> situations, if certain, let's say villainous countries are gonna put out a propaganda song, yeah, slap them on the wrist, take it away. But in this context, let's just all chill the fuck out. Yeah. And, and and congratulate Ukraine, right? Okay, anyway, let's move on to the final. And in last place, Nova, is something that we are not fucking surprised about and we literally said would be last, which is Germany. Yeah. Germany have have had a, a really crap track record. They, they've been last or had like, I mean, they had zero points last year from the telly vote, have just done no, nothing really with this. I always find it interesting when countries send talented people with shit songs, because I don't feel like- um, not even necessarily what, what, what's, a shit what's, song. What's his name? Malik. Yeah, I don't think he's a bad performer. I don't think he's a, a bad artist. I think the song was so incompatible with this contest. I think it was just such a load of it, shit. There's a place for it. And, and I don't really the thing is, <laughs> no, 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 not in the contest. <laughs> Oh, but right, you hear yeah. that on the radio, I'd probably jam along to it. It's not it's not my cup of tea, but it's not bad. It's fine, but it's, but not, it's competing, not competitive. Is it? yes, it's not exactly. competitive. That's that's the problem with that. Okay, so then we have to go to the country which was second to last, which was probably one of the biggest surprises, which is France. Which is what? Yeah, I'm what? quite sad because I feel like we're only gonna be what? getting female singers singing Chanson. ballads now for the next five years. This has really been France trying something different, and I think they're going to be like, right, well, that didn't work. Never touching that again. Never thought I'd work again. My theory for why France did scored so lowly with this low is I think similar to how James Newman got zeros across the board. Out of the embers. <laughs> he was never particularly last with everyone. He was just slightly too middle of the pack that he was never in anyone's top 10. And that I think is is potentially what if happened. If that's the here, case, I understand France. that, but I find it so hard to believe. It's such a banger. My I God, it's a like banger. They had such a large following on social media and I feel like they were really popular within the fandom at least. And the performance I could not fault. And visually, I think it was one of the strongest. They really made use it's a of the stage. So I was just very surprised. I, I can't explain that. I mean, if what you're saying is the case, because we don't know how people, how the average viewer at home would have received this. I just know within the fandom, it was really popular. So I was surprised. It's, it's really a shame that, yeah, it was so kind of different for them. And now they're going to probably just go back to like Barbara. I mean, I'd take Barbara actually. Oh, I never, I'd have liked, Barbara. I never liked that. Bab. I never liked it. Bab. No. No. Okay, so then Iceland 23rd. I mean, it's a very soft, very gentle song in a sea of ballads. So I'm not surprised this didn't quite get up there. I think Iceland, along with a couple of other countries are getting slaps on the wrist for um, having Ukrainian flags in their performance after being told not to before and then ignoring that. I cannot remember the other two countries, but there were another couple of countries, I think. I think Germany might have been one of them. Didn't he lift his Germany guitar up? Germany might have been one of them. Yeah. Yes. Have, but disagree. again, to try and maintain the apolitical value, they'll get, give them a slap on the wrist. Are they going to do anything? Absolutely not. Because yeah. it's like, you know. Yeah. I think as well that maybe Portugal swallowed a lot of votes from from Iceland and Armenia. Those are the kind of like mid-tempo or slower ones where, because Portugal did quite well. Generally speaking, I think this year was not a very diverse year in terms of musicality. I think there was maybe a few outliers peppered here and there, but generally speaking, it was all very mellow, borderline dreary. <laughs> in my opinion. Dirge, so Nova said dirge. There was quite a lot of acts that I think would have audiences that would cannibalize each other. Um, cannibalize, the language yeah. in here. <laughs> Czech Republic. 
20, they came 22nd. They only managed to scrape 38 points. They did go first, which I, is I too get, bad. I don't think they could have done anything better. I think that was such a fantastic opening to the show. People just didn't, I don't know, I don't know why they didn't get, another. it's another one. I don't know what the situation was there. Maybe it's because it, it honestly was just the running order, but again, Maybe, one yeah. of our faves. So that was a shame for them. 21st was Finland. That seems pretty on the money. I think that the, 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 the Rasmus, the popularity of the bad. Rasmus, carried them into the final and that's where it ended. I've they... always said it was a bad song and you cannot perform a bad song badly and they performed it badly. So all you have is shit, basically. What have you performed, Will? <gasps> Am I not performing for you right now? It's life, not a performance. You performed last night, yeah. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, oh, yeah. turn that camera off. And the fucking wrist. <laughs> Armenia's 20, again. That I was think a really that's... interesting performance. Um, I liked the staging. I, Perfectly, I thought that was... probably where it should have been in the pack. Again, I think she was better than that song. I think she was quite good. It's a I, lovely I song. song so it's a naff. bit... Yeah, it's sort of been done. Not competitive. Belgium was 19th. They actually ended up doing better than I thought they probably would. I still didn't really get get the, the no, song. I, I just find, it. I just think the song is so it not really. I don't get it's it. It's not really, is it? 18th was Romania. You know, considering people did not have any money on Romania, 18th is not bad. Yeah, that came pretty much where I thought it would. And that is such, he's so cute. Yeah. And it was, it came alive. Everyone at our party was singing along with that. I yeah. say everyone, it was us and Polly and. But it was, it was allowed like sing along oh, no, I mean, bear, bear, bear. that was so exciting yeah. to sing along because yeah, for the rest of fun. it generally speaking we were just the ones singing someone actually pulled me aside and said how do you know the words to the, to this song and I said oh we've been following this since December and he said oh you're a fucking loser <laughs> yes thank you yes, yes thank you I'll take that yes, yes. yes. yeah fucking loser who won first place <laughs> up yours that probably would go up yours <laughs> Then we've got Switzerland came 17th. That's perfectly probably where that should have ended. God, that was dreary. Got zero from the telly vote. He was the only I country. was really vindicated by that as no, well. No, I felt bad for no, him. I did not. Feel, oh, actually, I felt bad for him because like... Last year, it was amusing because four got, countries got He like got cried, nothing. didn't he? So that was kind of sad, but... Yeah, because boys do cry. Well, apparently. Zero points. <laughs> uh, but fuck me. Was that a bad song? He shouldn't have taken his socks off at that pre party. He shouldn't should have he? done that either. No, weirdo. Why he looks like that? Ellen as well. So Azerbaijan ended up coming 16th. So even when you fucking pay for it, you couldn't even crack the top 10. That's embarrassing. Yeah, because he got how many televotes yes, did he get? That, Three? This, this is the problem Nothing. Where, where we had with Malta last year. And it's just like. You can't pay your way to the final you and then not continue on that support because either something's supposed to be in the final or it's not. Or if it's you not, fake your way to the final, you're going to flounder. And all you've done now is make people not want to vote for you. Yeah. Like there's no way in hell I would pick up the phone for Azerbaijan after they've done that. They don't deserve it. Give them a give them a year ban. Give them a fucking ban is what you yeah. should do. Three years on the step. I watched it with Megan one year, like twenty. When did they win? Twenty thirteen? No, earlier than that. Twenty eleven? Anyway. And, and Megan sort of turns to me and she goes, where's Hadjur Bedjan? <laughs> so Australia came 15th, which I think is also a little surprising if we were saying this like a month ago. I think Australia was a victim of running order. I think Sheldon gave a fantastic performance, but I remember looking over at Polly at our viewing party and I said to her like, if the reaction in this room is going to be the average reaction for everyone at home watching, this ain't gonna do it. Because no nobody cared, was watching didn't it. They? Nobody cared. Everyone was talking over it. No one cared. No one was really watching. No one was paying attention. And I don't know if that's necessarily because of the performance. I think it just got to a point where people were just like, all right, there's gonna be some stuff here now. Yeah, we'll I wait think till it the was end. kind of fatigue of like just so many sad boy songs. I think he was fourth or fifth, wasn't he, of the sad boys? I do think perhaps the, the mask might have, in retrospect, been a bit of an issue for people because they didn't get that kind of connection and just now asking myself whether I might have made an error. I think he would have benefited from some more interesting staging. I was absolutely I, gutted when he got two televote points though. That yeah, is, I don't understand that. That is a real shame because his vocal dessert alone deserved way more. I was very that. surprised. But then again, when we were, when I said to Polly, looking at our viewing party, I, I don't know it. why it is, but if this is anything to go by, yeah. I wasn't surprised. So if you're watching this, Sheld, we love you. Yes, but, um, we love you, Sheldon. Yeah, you deserved more than that, I think. 
think. And yeah. it was, I think, I do think that was a running order is, issue of the yeah. day. Oh, Lithuania came 14th. Monica, how fantastic for somebody who was last in the bookies for so long to qualify and then come 14th. I think that's she was so second amazing. in the semi. She was trying to bring back li the Lithuanian language. Like there were so many things working against her. But ultimately, I really thought she was going to make it through. And I mean, this is probably as good a score as she could have got yeah. in this pack. I think she should be very, very proud of that. I think that Mon Monica Liu is probably my favourite thing to come out of this it's spectacle. It's because I love her. I love her haircut. I love her energy and her positive. Woo! I just love her. Ow! And I wish now I had done her. I might do her next year. You could do her next year. Yeah, with the bowl. Do, de do, bajabanya. Estonia came 13th. I feel like I'm actually quite surprised that placed that high. I thought that was so incredibly dull. I, th it, I think it's a nice song. He seems like a nice guy. He's got a nice thought. Everything about it is just nice. I really hated the filter they put over it. Nah, before, God, that was so naff. So naff. Not surprised it qualified because the audience absolutely ate that shit yeah. up. But 13th seems a bit, I don't know. So Poland came 12th. Now, for the longest time ever, we were saying I'm they would be in the that. top 10. But our predictions that Poland would be in the top 10 was probably largely before we saw how it was staged. It is the primest example of a score suffering because of staging. Because yeah. his outfit was, he looked like some creepy uncle at a, at a wedding. Yeah. The special effects were so ham Windows Movie Maker. So cringy. He was wearing so a watch. He was wearing he a was watch. He was wearing a watch. Take I remember saying when off. it was on, I turned around to him and I was like, why is he wearing a watch? What stylist looked at him and said, I think we need a watch here. I think we need a jacket here. What for? He only has three minutes on watch stage. For? So infuriating. What was that about? Dire, dire. All round dreadful. I mean, you, you just know that he would wear socks in bed. <laughs> and you know who we can ask about that? Brooke from Ireland. Have you heard this? No, what? Apparently there's very strong rumours that Brooke and, from Ireland and Ockman, Christian Ockman from Poland, were, you know... That's hilarious. They were throwing each other some points. Oh my God, that's hilarious. I didn't know In the know bedroom. That. Allegedly. Alleg allegedly. I did not know that. That's really funny. Um, you know. And he said, oh, have you got any handcuffs? And she said, I should have it. <laughs> so 11th place and just missing the top 10 was the Netherlands, which I, I think is actually a, a little surprising. Perhaps it was because she was quite early on, was she? I also think it was poor staging. I don't know. Well, I mean, possibly. I think, again, a lot of that... I think, unfortunately, was down to the kinetic sun because they. Dr I, I kept saying this, and I'm, I sound like a broken record, but I think all of the contestants dressed in black really struggled this year having black behind them. And she was just completely sort of swallowed by she the She looked black like hole. a floating head and a floating midriff, and I do think that affected a lot of things. I'm there was a moment where it suddenly like, was like flooded with white light, and they used the, the smaller LED behind her that was white, and that was strong. You fucking tell, tell us a month ago that that would have got a lower score than Moldova's. Yeah, I know. Moldova, I just find so, it's not surprising, I do get it, but like, what are other people listening to? But that's the other thing, this this, this didn't really have much energy about it. It's, no, that's it's a true. very pretty song, but it was also kind of just. <sighs> Charmaine does that now. If you go, ah. she'll go. Ah. But do you know what I mean? But like people were voting for energy, like France. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so in tenth place was Norway, which we always said that was a top ten moment. You I love it. I think they should be proud of that. I think that was a good place for them. I really hope they do more music together. I would love to have an EP. Just, I just want to, him to take the mask off so we can see that it's Ben Adams from A1. Wouldn't that be great? And his like curtains get caught in it because he's got uh, curtains still. I don't know. It's I, the nineties. I kind of hope that they don't take the masks off. I don't know. I, I think Norway would have done a bit better had Moldova not been in it. I think that's kind of a yes, little. That's that's a fair uh, assessment. Maybe a fair yeah. assessment. Um, ninth Portugal. I was surprised at that. I thought I that was, was not. Surprised. I thought that was really bloody boring. Beautifully done. It's beautiful. No, that I I feel like is is where that was going to be always. I was surprised at that. Again, I like the song. I do like the song. It's beautiful. I, I just thought um, it, with this year as it was I was surprised it managed to stand out I don't know I find you very strange with your hair 
So Greece only finished in eighth place, which I guess in the end kind of makes sense. Again, I feel like everything should be shunted one and Moldova could have been a lot lower. Greece was my favorite. And I don't know, if you told me that Greece wasn't in the top ten, the top five, then I might have may have been a bit surprised by that. I don't know. Again, though, it's another sad weepy, isn't it? So yeah. maybe that's what the issue was. But she did it great. Yes, this was probably one of the best stagings of the whole competition. So, so good. I didn't care and for it. probably outfit, some of though. the best camera direction as well. I thought that outfit looked a bit like the inside of a Tunnock's tea cake. And then we've got Moldova in seventh and we've we've spoken about that yeah, enough. Yeah, I've got nothing more to say about Just that. outside of the top five was is Italy. And in my opinion, I actually think that should have scored lower because yeah. the performance was not good. They've done it good several times. They've yeah. done it very, very well. This seemed lazy almost. Like they were just so over it, kind of. I don't know what the deal was, but it was I not feel like performed well. Mahmood was pretty solid vocally. Mahmood was save, bad. Save for the falsetto. I don't think he, I think he only hit the falsetto notes correctly right at the end. Otherwise, I don't think they were they were sharp the entire time. And, Brian and then Blanco came grown. in and was a hot ass yeah, fucking. Yeah, and he mess. kept walking walking up to him going, hot ass. What are you doing? Mess. You look like mankind with Socko. Are you ready for a little chat? And I think they also didn't know how to stage this. In a song about the internet. They could have brought in the bicycle from the music video. It could have been a that little bit more. That would have been adorable, more... Nova. Great idea. Yeah. You should get Nova on board. They next should year. have had more storytelling with this. It was very basic. It was all white. Let's stand on the piano. Let's come back down. And lots of fashion lights. And Blanco looked like so many, many curtains. <laughs> so beautiful. Look at this. Talk about something different. Okay, so the top five then in fifth place was, in retrospect, not a surprise. And I know that you were probably a bit surprised by this, but Serbia were fifth. I was surprised by that. Well, we were we were for a very long time I'm happy. unsure of how that was going to fare with the telly voters. I'm happy, but I was surprised because I feel like the message of the song did not get across like at all. The subtitles. And the subtitles the were ugly and were not informative enough. I think they didn't help get the message of the song across because it was kind of really random lines Very sparingly there. used. There was only a I few I don't think it helped to up. understand what the song was about. So I'm, I don't know why people voted for it, but I'm happy they did. I'm over the moon because she, again, is just another one of these, like a Monica Lou superstar for me this year. I'm just, I was so excited. Yeah, she's kind of one of the Eurovision 2022, like, icons. Yes, and there were yeah. so many people at the party we were at who were just like, this is dire, what on earth is happening? And we were just like, please just let her wash her hands. Shut up! We're going to throw her a vote afterwards. So I'm very pleased about that. Yeah. Fourth place then is Sweden. And I actually thought Sweden would potentially come first or second. And fourth seems a bit off now in retrospect, doesn't it? I think it's just a bit of a weird year, isn't it? But Sweden, again, they couldn't have done it anymore. I think it was fantastic. This is still my favourite song of the whole year. Um, I mean, it's so good. It's She's great. Fantastic. She's great. It was it was excellent. I, Say I, no more, really. It was great. It just, it was what it was. I, you can't you can't criticize thing it, is though you? i think that we were really i think most people were of a mindset that the winner would be either ukraine it would be sweden spain italy really dropped off though and then maybe the uk was also introduced Probably yeah. kind of last minute as being yeah. a winner because people weren't saying that for ages and ages. And then they saw the rehearsals and they were like, oh. And they're like, oh, actually, oh. no, the UK's going up. Oh. So it was that kind of mix in some sort of order. Spain ended up coming third. Again, with Again, a few another, votes here and there, could have been second. Another excellent performance. I will say... So great. Not her best vocal performance. I think she's done it better. I think she did it better in like the jewellery shows and stuff. However doesn't really matter because it was such eye candy. Did she throw in an extra like ho ho I think right, I at, right at the end, I think she kind of, yeah, really threw it all into the dancing and I think her vocals suffered a little bit, which I've not seen from her before. Normally she can do both perfectly. That sounded a little bit like ho 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 Loco, loco, loco. You were out of time at the end. One, two, oh. girls, come on! I see they've opened up the hairdressers in Serbia. <laughs> so, okay, here's the big, here's the big, here's the big moment now. Obviously, Nova and I are from the UK, and we came second. I think and we, we would won have the been, jury vote. We won the jury vote, which is very, very exciting. Twelve points to from Ukraine go to 
United Kingdom. United Kingdom. Great Britain. Au Royaume-Uni. Au Royaume-Uni. United Kingdom. The United Kingdom. That's incredible. Yes, okay, you might argue that because a lot of it was made up, we didn't really, but we're up there. And that is really the underlying point of this, is that for the longest time ever, we started out by saying, if we get in the top 15, we will be absolutely overjoyed. And then it became a conversation of, this is going to be a top 10. Yeah. And we really have to gun for a top 10. If we come 10th, we have to shout and scream about it in the streets, about how exciting that is. And then on the night, I was very confident. I was like, this is going to be top five. It's going to be top five. This so will be top five. We knew he would do it so flawlessly. He's so excellent. Sam is nothing if not consistent. You know what to expect from Wildly him. Never talented. Any bad surprises. He'll only ever surprise you in a good way. Right. Staging, the best we might have ever done it. Re yeah. Realistically, the best. Just the entire package was a 10 out of 10. And to sit there and the first jury vote came up and we had four points, which means that we had immediately beaten last year. <laughs> because last year we got zero to get zero in a voting system that is designed so that never happens. It literally <laughs> is in the record books as the worst performing Eurovision song of all time because zero in a time gone by might have just been zero, but zero jury and zero televote is yeah. really appalling all round. Yeah. So to get all of the scores come up and we all kind of collectively knew we were about to get 12 points was a, f a feeling and an experience that we have never experienced before. <laughs> I started watching Eurovision in like 2001, which was four years clear of, of when we last won it. And since then, Jade Ewan, I hated her song so badly that I just didn't want even points then. But to, to have that feeling was so, so exciting. I think we all kind of knew that we weren't going to beat Ukraine. But... Mm. The idea that we were in the top five alone is such a thrill. Yeah. And I think it was so deserved as well. I'm really hoping the UK sees it that It was actually, bloody deserved, actually. Actually, yes. when we send artists with songs that are of quality, we can and achieve passion. things. And passion. You know? And it's not just that. It was It was the whole, the whole package. The whole time. The, the whole time. You would... The whole... Package. So our contestant was enthusiastic, talented... The staging was excellent. The styling was excellent. Just every single box was ticked. Yes. And I think that's so important because that's what you need for Eurovision. It's <laughs> one thing having a good song. It's one thing having a good performer. It's one thing having a good staging, good styling. But you need to kind of have everything together to get you through to the end. Not like last year when he was interviewed and they were like, how's the vocal? How's the performance? And he said, the vocal's pretty good. Performance might get there. What? Out of the embers. <laughs> it's not supposed to get there. It's supposed to already be fucking there by the time you rock up on the Also, set. might get there. Might get there. Did it get there? Don't know. Time will tell on that one. Out of the embers. <laughs> Your tell is fabulous. Your tell is fabulous. We loved it. Generally speaking, I was quite happy with the turnout this year. Not just because the UK did so well, but because the Ukraine won, because, you know, Serbia got through, Lithuania got through. There were a bunch that we didn't care for that kind of like didn't, they yeah. stayed in the semis, generally were, speaking. The only ones that I was upset about in terms of qualifiers was Albania and Latvia. I, but Albania, I totally understand. Latvia, I think, is, only, is the only one where I, I was a bit like, oh, that I would have liked have Albania because she is, I just, I do really like her. I want to say overall in terms of Italy hosting this and the show in general and it being in Turin, I do think this has been a pretty shoddy year, <laughs> at least from our point of view and what we've seen as viewers. We weren't there. We weren't working at it. We weren't there in person. So maybe things were different. But from our point of view, I think this has been a pretty shoddy organisation. I don't organization. know if, if just like Italian like writers or something have just got no sense of humour or like the, the, the presenting. The hosting was soulless. Was abysmal in my opinion and I don't think it was their fault. I have been led to believe that they had a lot of script changes which again is not fair for them. I could have maybe lost one of them and, and had an, an, someone different. It Just the yeah. whole thing was really... It read... It just it didn't feel fun. 
And why why did the winner of Junior Eurovision not get to perform? Does anybody care? Yeah, that was Why shame. get her to turn up looking beautiful and then play a clip of her winning, not even to play a clip of her performance? That um, was so strange to me. Does anybody care? That was our thoughts, but please leave a comment down below if you've got any other burning questions, because there's so much that we haven't covered. So that's pretty much where we're at at the moment. Yes. Um, we look pretty good. I won that competition though. <laughs> Let's talk about the fact that you can join us on the Patron, yes. where you can go back and look at our predictions and see whether or not they were any good. We're gonna be doing a Patron quiz that's coming up. The guys over there get access to the Discord, the podcast, tons of shit. What are you doing? What you gonna do with all that ash? My delicate wrist. Our social media is gonna be on the screen right now. <laughs> Some of the Patrons get birthday shout outs, including Nova. But I'll limit it to <laughs> Daniel O'Donovan for April 30th. Happy birthday, Daniel. This is a, a retroactive belated one um, because Daniel did not send their birthday to us. Right. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm not taking the blame for that, Daniel. I think a lot of people, I don't know if this was the case with Daniel, but a lot of people assume that we kind of like have that from their sign up somehow. Yeah, but you have to literally but, type that in somewhere. Yeah. So like, we can't guess, we can't guess. And no, Daniel, this is not, this is your birthday shout out <laughs> and we've shit all over it. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Also for Lovely D, Lovely D. May That's a 18th. cute name. Happy May birthday, 18th, Lovely D. The Lovely D. And for May 19th, it's Trey. Happy birthday, Another lovely Trey. name. Happy birthday, Trey. Happy birthday. Would you like to do the final three just here? Um, Cadet Tao Tao for May 21st. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Evelyn Fox, May 23rd. Oh, yes. And then happy birthday for May 24th, Chris Shark. Oh, happy birthday, Evelyn and Chris. Thanks for being with us. We're also on Twitch. Yes, we are. I'm about to start it tonight, which means for those... If you're watching this now, that was a few days ago, but I'm going to play the Desperate Housewives PC That'll be game. on VOD for you guys to watch if you haven't seen VOD it VOD as if. Yeah. Oh, you know what else we never mentioned? Dami Im came second, Verka came second, Sam Ryder came second. It was meant to be. <laughs> it's a good club to be in, I think. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I came first. Oh. <laughs> And a monocle you to our brand new patrons, Douglas F, Brianna Bell, Tiffany Carmen, Rednax Live, Brad Clark, Deanie 70, Mr. J Match, JJ 10,000, Josh Gill 17, Hob the Troll, Thick Bish, Smuggy Goatlin, Cindy Easley, Gary Rowland and Devlin Andrews. Uh, ah! But do you know what I mean? Like but People were voting for energy like France. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.